How you doing? I'm Pete Kemp from Rivers Inlet Sportsman's Club. I'm about to show you a typical self-guided boat here at the lodge. Our boats come with a 40 horsepower four-stroke motor with electric start. They also come with a depth sounder on the port side of the boat. We also have downriggers for our salmon fishing. Uh, we use the downriggers here at the club to keep the bait down deep where the salmon are running. So what you want to do, you want to grab your cannonball line, just like this, push the button on the side of the downrigger. Swing it over to the outside of the boat, grab the ball with your right hand, and gently swing it into the water. Grab your rod and hook your gear up. I like to use a flasher and or a piece of bait, depending on where I am and where I'm fishing. So I grab my flasher and just hook up the narrow end to the main line. Fat end is always to the fish. Once I have that hooked up, I throw it away from the boat and let out about 20 feet of line. After the line's out, I stick my rod up and grab my main line. Put the rod back in the rod holder and grab my release clip, which is on the main line of the downrigger by the ball. And attach my main line just below the black line on the release clip. Once that's done, throw it back in the water and you're ready to go. And I check my rod tip, making sure the line is not, ca not caught on, on the eyes of the rod. I then check my drag and ready to put it down. You grab the handle of the top of the downrigger, release the brake, and put her down to your desired depth. Once it's down, slowly release the brake and it locks into place. I then crank my reel up a little bit and tighten my drag, making sure that I have a nice bend on the rod to see when I have a fish on. When you have a fish on, you're gonna see two things. Your rod will be doing this, or it'll come straight up right off the clip. In the case of a fish, grab your rod immediately, point it down, reel straight down on it, and set the hook. This will either release the clip and then set the hook, or will set the hook in the fish's mouth. You now have your fish on and you are now playing your fish. Key things, keep your rod tip up and make sure your drag is nice and loose so your fish can run easily. If you're running two downriggers, bring it up immediately and get it in the boat so you don't have all that line up behind the boat.